of the earth. And then that the sun would rise from the west. Now wait a minute. The sun rising from the west is one of the signs of the end of history not of the end of the world the end of the world comes when all of this material universe is going to be transformed the word in the Quran is tabdeel into that which is ghayrul abdi was samawat something different if this one is physical in this sense of the word physical of space that one will be non-physical if this is temporal in this sense of the word of time that would be non-temporal something different from this and that is the end of the world when the mountains will be like pieces of wool huh? and the graves the earth will pitch out of its bowels the graves the people come out of their graves the resurrection that is the end of the world no one knows when that will take place no one how long after the end of history will it take place don't ask me because I don't know but the sun rising from the west is not a sign of the end of the world. The sun rising from the west is a sign of the alamat of the end of history. And because I have given my opinion, I get so many emails, I don't have time to reply to them now. I said the Quran sits in judgment over the Hadith. Quran and Hadith do not have the same status. No, sir. And if a Hadith is in conflict with the Quran, then I am going to stay with the Quran. You could do what you want. You could even fly to Washington. When there is a conflict with the Quran and the Hadith, I choose to stay with the Quran. You can do what you want. This is my choice. And the Quran tells me that the sun rises in the east. And the Hadith is saying that the sun will rise from the west. What was I saying all the time? East? The Hadith tells us that one of the signs of the last days is that the sun would rise from the west, not the east, the west. The Quran tells us that the sun rises from the east. That's what the Quran says. And the Quran also says, La tabdila li khalqillah. And my understanding, La tabdila li khalqillah is simple Arabic. Nothing complicated, nothing sophisticated, nothing ambiguous. La tabdila li khalqillah. There is no change or tabdeel in Allah's creation. And so I reject the belief that the sun can literally rise from the west. I reject it. But if you want to believe that it will literally rise from the west, that's your choice, not mine. We don't have to pick up boxing gloves over that. Hmm? And so I say that the sun rising from the west has to be understood symbolically, not literally. That there is a sunrise that will come to the world at the end of history. A glamorous sunrise. But it will be a false sunrise. That is what we're dealing with in today's lecture. This is the sun rising from the West that we're talking about. What modern Western civilization has delivered to the world and now has trapped all of mankind in it. Hmm? 